All right, so PVT. On M Mujo Gardens. On Mujo Gardens. And then in the upper right, we have for uh, 1F Pro, Zapdos. In the pink turn. And in the purple trunks, for playing Protoss, it is XCFX or Confeds Kira. 1F Pro. Good luck and have memes. I think, I don't know, for some reason my mind goes to like F2 Pro or something. F2 Pro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what that 1F Pro, I'm sure it's something, I'm sure they got a snappy name behind it. I just haven't had a chance to check it out. So, um, Clan War tonight is against the 1F Pro team, against the uh, XCF team. Uh, so far it's 1-0 in the favor of 1F Pro. Uh, TVP on Mujo Gardens, I think. Mujo Gardens? Yep, you are correct. Uh, looks like uh, standard-ish type openings. No proxies. That's always always a good way to start things off. I'm I'm catching up with the second game here, so I didn't see the outcome of the first game. But um, there's no three rack reapers coming across. You never know when that can be useful. Haven't seen a ton of games on this map. I liked the, um, we casted a game maybe a week or so ago. There was a good uh, PVT on this map, a lot of storm drops. Um, same matchup actually, yeah, it was PVT. So there's a lot of storm drops and it was a lot of Widow Mines. Yeah. So it was really um, figuring out who was gonna do better off in those engagements. We got a Reaper expand out of uh, Zapidos. Oh, we got a proxy pylon down here. I wonder if that's for any uh, shenanigans or... Oh, there's the other. Robo. Yeah, so I guess this would have to be... Uh... Stargate? Yeah, no, I'm going to say hidden tech. I would say it's going to have to be um, just hidden Twilight. tech in general. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, Citadel, as you call it. <laughs> exactly. I always confuse the two, yeah. Um, good Reaper Scout, though. He, he goes and he does see the one gate. Um, you kind of have it to the Twilight, wanna So see. maybe hidden Dark Shrine? Yeah. Or maybe just scouting? No, I, I think it's got to be something, and it almost has to be Dark Shrine at this point. Reaper gets in, gets a single probe. Yep, he's going to jump to his death, though. Down goes the Reaper. But it, he got what he needed out of the Reaper. He got, you know, the scout, the information. Mm hmm Yep, we got a uh, War Prism coming out of that Robo, a Twilight down. So now if... If he, we see a Dark Shrine here, you know, he's just thinking this is a Glaive build, but... Yep, there... Oh, he's putting the Dark Shrine in his own base. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, not sure to call on that. Maybe he has something else in mind later on down the road. Poking in with the two Adepts. Um, could possibly use it to scout, or even maybe harass Mineral Line a little bit. Warp Gate Tech is done. Yeah, you need to get out of there. Get out of Dodge, though. Cyclone. It's one on the Marine. Cyclone and a handful of Marines is plenty to deal with that. I kind of like uh, Zapdos' response here to go an early Viking. Yep. It's going to um, shut down a little bit of this Warp Prism play. And I really can't blame him for this scout here either, because you would normally want to scout here anyways for some type of proxy. If not there, then you would do it to the uh, horizontal from his spawn base. So... Either way you go, it's it's never a bad idea just to scout there. Yeah, but you um, see this back left mm -hmm. position in his b base. There's no well, vision yeah. of it. And the one thing Viking that's kind is, of unfortunate. Is so just... for Kira, well, Kira doesn't have his warp gates. There he goes. I guess he was timing him out. Sorry, go ahead. 
He, the Viking is just chilling over this pylon right here. Yep. The one DT is pulled in. And there's... Do you see an eBay? I don't see an eBay. I don't. Uh, and that's no. a reactor on the starport, so that's and not going to be uh, a Raven. 50 minerals and... I mean, 50 energy on this... Uh, yeah, he saved, he saved energy for scan, so that's not bad. It's the double split. And then the warp prism does still have a, a placeholder there. So pro toss up 10 harvesters, and he's still going income behind this. So this isn't really an all-in. This is just, just a cripple move. Yep, just poking at him, poking the bear. Um, he does get that other scan out, so I don't see any other he, scans. This is kind of cool. He's going for the tech. He's a long ways away from getting scans, too, or an eBay. So Protoss is getting a little stacked on his mineral income, though, so he yep. he's probably going to want to do something with this. I think um, you don't want to give too much attention to your DTs. It'll distract from your advantage. Mm -hmm. Turns did a good job of keeping all of his stuff alive. He has he didn't lose either of his tech buildings, which he could have. Yeah, but this other this other one's going tam in his that one scan goes down, and he runs away. Yeah, I really think Kira's got to. He's gonna have to spend. He's stacking everything up. Yeah, he's, he's spending. He's got a lot of minerals. Way too much. Yep, he's got charge and immortals on the way. This war prism is now found. His time to get out is now. He's a little supply blocked as well. I think it did its job. I yeah, mean, 29 pr probes. I mean, uh, 29 SCVs to 58 probes. Yeah, it's just time to actually do something with your advantage, though, is the thing. Zapdos um, is just flat out broke, too. He is, but Kira is at 30 over 16 on his natural. Um, yeah, he needs... He's focusing way too much on DTs. He's got to actually spend his money. Get a third. There is the gateway explosion. Really needs a third off of this, though. Mm-hmm. I agree. In my opinion. But I don't see any medivacs being produced, either. So this army, you know, you're going to get one stim out of it, and some glaive to depths is going to tear right through this, but he's got charge. Mm, he does he have charge? Let's look at the upgrades. Yeah, he does. Okay. So that, that will definitely come in handy here, because um, he's very mineral heavy. He's going to need to use something to fight this counter push. Yeah, I mean... This is a huge counter push, but he only has three gateways powering this, so this could be a really good timing from Terran to counter this. There's a Mothership Core with energy. A good point you raised is there is no medevac. Yeah, so, so you stem this once. Hurting. Once these gateways finish up, Kira needs to turn those into warp gates. Yeah, but he just swats this away with those photon overcharges and... I, I really am enjoying Kira's position. He's getting all the upgrades he needs. The first medevac is on its way out. He's got one chilling at his natural. <laughs> I like that he recognized his oversaturation here. So he's transferring 12, what is that, 14 probes, and he still has more to spare on the probe transfer. You know, the Terran's on his plus ones. I'd like to see a Kira throw down a forge, but... He's going straight into Templar Archives and Robo Bay. What of mines could play a factor here? Um, Protoss has switched into a very ground heavy. I mean, he got eight gates, nine gates, maybe. Uh, I don't know, someone do the math for me. But there's a lot of gateway units, so what of mines can do work. Yeah, but we see we see a move out by Kira, and he might catch this army out in the open. Can he get that? He gets the widow mine before it buries, and he's gonna get, take this widow mine shot right here. It's a big widow mine bait. Warp prison is paying dividends here. That archon though, he's got the observer with him. I'd, I'd like to see him. Oh, takes that one hit. I'd like to see him regroup, refocus. He's got a huge supply leave, almost forty supply, all in. All in workers, though. Yeah, I think he's okay to throw units at this point because Terran's not on a third base. Yeah, um, Terran's really turtle heavy here. 
And there's you got this drop coming across to mm-hmm. the natural. And wh- yep. where's Kira's mothership core? Is it with the army? Is it? Uh, yeah, it it died in that last engagement. So this could do a lot of damage here. Yeah, there's no um, at home defense. He's warping in some high templars. Feedback that uh, medevac. Warp it and change it into archons. He's pulling back too. And this drop's doing what it needs to do mm-hmm. too. Yep. So the drop pulled the whole army back, and then it got a uh, good ten probe kill. <laughs> the ironic thing is that Kira was very oversaturated, so now he's actually within normal ranges. And he's still got a, a really big supply uh, worker lead, but he stems. He's gonna wipe out this whole this whole main mineral line, but he still has a healthy third. Kira scouts and sees that there's no there's no third from the Terran, so he's a. Uh, he sends a hallucinated phoenix. So, I, I think that Terran could get away with more harass and drop play. It seems like he's pulling Kira in a lot of different directions when it comes to, you know, he dropped his main base with, what was that, six marines, and it pulled the entire army back. Yeah. So, got this heads-up move- fight. Yeah. yeah, this is going to be a big move out. Does he have any Thai Templars? Because there's a lot of marines in that. And they're really susceptible to a big storm. Or a big disruptor hits, goes down. That was a really big disruptor hit. You're going to see some stutter step. I don't want to see Kira overextend, you know. It would be very bad for him. Tyron needs to boost out and get out of here. Yeah, the only thing... I, oh, I we, get that... to, we get a dance from Kira. <laughs> I... I liked the um, micro on Zapdos' side. I thought he did good with as far as what he had for the fight. Um, the only problem is that he has a third base behind that, and you're sitting on two bases that are dying. Um, you gotta, you, you're going to want to run guerrilla tactics or at least secure your own third at that point. Just defeating his army in a heads-up engagement, he'll be able to replenish that. So now you're at a little bit of a deficit. Now we got three Archons mor- morphing from Kiara, five total. It's Blink Stalkers, Immortals, Disruptors, Storm. We have... The Protoss Dream Army right here to go against Bio. In my opinion, I thought that the uh, Liberators were a good idea. SCVs are Storms. pulled too, and storms go down all over the army. Disruptor, disruptor hits about to go down. He lifts away. GG is called. Kira evens the score. 